Hey, it's me again. So I just wanted to show you something that I've set up today. Uh, I used to have this out, I don't know, quite a few months ago. Um, but since the second lockdown, I put it away because it was just getting in the way a little bit and I needed to concentrate on work. But I've got a full-size keyboard, which is a weighted keyboard. It's a Yamaha P45. Um, I picked this up ooh, about a year ago or so for something around 100 or 200 pounds, I can't remember. Um, and I've just been practicing how to play piano. And I've got this cool app um, on my iPad called Simply Piano. And this is like another one of those guitar hero type apps, which you kind of like, as, as you go along, let's see if I can demonstrate a little bit, probably cut out because you might be able to hear any keys. But as you go along, you kind of like, in time with the uh, keys, there's normally music, but for whatever reason, it's not playing at the moment. Um, you kind of like hit your notes in time with the keys and then it recognizes it, which is pretty cool. And then you learn how to play piano and it kind of just like gets harder and harder as you go along. Really, really good app. So again, this is another one of my of my 15 minute a day things that I want to try and get into because I've always wanted to learn how to play the piano properly. Um, I got a right at it before I could play like um, Ludovici and Audi's Nouveau Bionge, if that's how you pronounce it, I'm not too sure. Um, I could play that fluently all the way through. I wouldn't be able to do it the same now, but I could do that ooh, quite a few years ago now, four years ago or something. Um, and I kind of, what I did to learn that song was watch a YouTube video of the song with the keys coming towards me, just like Guitar Hero. Easiest way to learn an instrument or a new skill, I'm telling you. And just learn section by section by section. <clears throat> but I wanted to learn how to read sheet music. So I found this app, it's something like £60 a year. 60 or 70 pounds a year and if it's a first time purchase then you get like a discount on it too um or at least i did when i bought it but i mean if you compare that to piano lessons which are like 20 pounds a lesson if not more and that lesson only lasts for you know a few hours on a day an app like this you know 60 70 pound for a whole year and you can use it as you want it's just such good value for money. Um, there's a great selection of songs. There's uh, a great progression and curriculum through it. You know, I'm learning chords at the moment, um, but there's like, you know, solo artists, how they play as well, not just chords. So it's got everything on there. It's really, really good. And different genres, classical, modern, pop, you know, all these different things. So highly recommend it. Um, so I've just, Got this out from under my bed. Um, it's cool because I can like stick in my headphones, um, plug them into the iPad, and it's got like a MIDI controller at the back. And I can plug that into the iPad too, and then I can hear through my headphones the um, sound comms from the keyboard through the iPad, so it recognizes everything. And um, obviously it goes through the headphones as well. So it's not noisy. I can listen to it whenever I want. I can play whenever I want. Um, yeah, and yeah, really good experience. And if you don't have headphones, you can even uh, you can you can use it without headphones. And the iPad recognizes the notes that you're playing and matches it up against um, the keys on the app. And obviously there's music playing as well as, as you're doing it so that you know everything just comes together yeah really smart technology really cool um so this is me i thought i'd give this a go get it out from under my bed and try to play it for 15 minutes a day you know this is another one of my 15 minute hacks Let's see if it actually works, so because you know it's easy to say, oh yeah, I'm gonna do it for 15 minutes a day, but 
when it comes round to it, when it comes down to it, life gets in the way and, you know, other things happen. But, you know, I'm getting a bit bored of spending my free time in front of a television. I can't, I can't do it. I'm kind of like hungry for knowledge, hungry to learn new skills. Um, and I thought this would be a great use of my time. So who knows? We'll see how well I become over the next month or so, if I'm able to keep it up for a month. So it's just my update for now. Um, next, I'm gonna do my Sunday sundries article for the day. So until then.